ये जलसा हमारा ये दिन बरकतों के ये जलसा हमारा ये दिन बरकतों के खुदा की इनायत और शबतों के ये दिन हो मुबारक मुबारक हो ये दिन खिलाफत से पुर नूर ये माह ये सिन खिलाफत से पुर नूर ये माह ये सिन ये जलसा हमारा ये दिन बरकतों के ये जलसा हमारा ये दिन बरकतों के खुदा की इनायत और शबतों के यहाँ आसमानी गजर बज रहा है फलों से उलू ही शजर सज रहा है नए फूल हर शाख पर खिल रहे हैं जो अब रे करम से गले मिल रहे हैं जो अब रे करम से गले मिल रहे हैं ये दिन हो मुबारक الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين اياك نعبد واياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين انعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم مقصود احمد منصور صاحب اور مشینری ان لندن And next to him is the mission in charge, Maulana Asana Lamangat Sahib. We would all like to welcome you to this segment of Tabshir, the voice of Islam which comes your way weekly from the Ahmadiyya Muslim Jamaat Guyana. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum as wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. May the peace, blessings and mercy of God Almighty be upon you all. Today we are discussing the 33rd Annual Convention, Jalsa Salana. of the Ahmadiyya Muslim Jamaat Guyana and the, the, after the opening chapter of the Holy Quran if the operator will bring up the first slide <coughs> that was the opening after the opening chapter I recited the verse of the Holy Quran Surah al And in the second slide, we have the translation is, <clears throat> They are tender among themselves, thou seest them bowing and prostrating themselves in prayer, seeking grace from Allah and His pleasure. Their mark is upon their faces, being the traces of their prostration. Holy Quran, chapter 48, verse 30. And in the slide number three, the founder of the Ahmadiyya, Muslim Jamaat Guyana because this uh, actually is the third, sec, third, third Jalsa Salana of the Ahmadiyya Muslim Jamaat Guyana, the annual convention, and it is being held at its national headquarters, 198 Ornock and Landscape Streets, Queenstown, Georgetown, on Saturday, August 16, 2004, this year, that is from the hours of 1545 to 1745, two hours duration, that is 3.45 to 5.45 and on Sunday likewise which is the 17th of August it's going to be in the morning 10 hours 
to 12 hours, 2 hours as well. And esteemed viewers, you are all welcome. In the next slide, we will uh, witness that the fundamental purpose of the Jalsa Salana, according to the founder of the Ahmadiyya Muslim Jamaat, Hadrat Mirza Ghulam Ahmed Al Qadiani, alayhi salatu wasalam, the promised Messiah and Imam Mahdi, he said, they are to be tender among themselves. Holy Quran, chapter 48, verse 30, which I have recited in the very beginning of the uh, program. Tender among themselves. That is the basis of this convention. It is not an ordinary convention. It is not a worldly convention. It is a convention. convention. It is a jalsa. It is a sitting of love, affection, and listening to the word of God Almighty. Now, to continue the discussion from here, I would like to ask Maulana Mansur Sahib to join the conversation. Maulana Sahib. Jazakallah. I will present the, the background of this convention or jalsa. Jalsa Salana literally means annual convention, convention, but we normally use this term, which is more traditional term, that is Jalsa Salana. This Jalsa Salana was uh, initiated by Promised Messiah, Salam and under the divine instruction or divine guidance. The fifth slide, please. The fifth slide will tell you that he pronounced or he announced in May 1891 that he is the Messiah and Mahdi, which was awaited by Muslims and Christians. And, uh, and of course, God told him that he is that Messiah. And then in slide number six, you would see that uh, he decided that we should have the very first annual convention or Jalsa Salana and uh, that held in uh, uh, December 27 to 29th uh, at the Masjid of Al-Aqsa in Qadian, very small town in India and only 75 members attended at that time and that was held in 1891. That was the very first convention ever took place in the history of Ahmadiyya. And next year, the number uh, went to 327 and the very last Jalsa that was attended by Promised Messiah in 1907 there were more than 2,000 uh, people attended that Jalsa. In slide number seven you would see that it is telling the history. It started from that point and then it continued and the very last Jalsa that took place in Pakistan in 1983 and that is the small town which is called Rabwa, more than 300,000 people attended that Jalsa Salana in Pakistan. After that, we were uh, not allowed to attend Jalsa Salana anymore because of the laws, because of the opposition and persecution. But from there, we went out of that country and throughout the world, uh, Allah showed this blessing that throughout the world, every country is celebrating this Jalsa Salana. Thank you very much, Mulana Mansur Sahib. In fact, as fifteen viewers, I was present at this last Jalsa in which there were 300,000 people. And believe me, uh, I was young. I'm still young. I was young in those days. And I was lost in this huge wor wor world of people. I've never imagined such a thing in my life before then and not till today. Have I ever seen so such a huge amount of people who have who've assembled only for the sake of God Almighty. Now to uh, explain the purpose of the Jalsa Salana, I will ask the mission in charge, Maulana Mangas, have to continue the discussion. Thank you very much. Slide number eight. The purpose of Jalsa Salana is the primary, primary purpose of this convention is to enable every sincere individually to personally experience religious benefits. They may enhance their knowledge and due to their being blessed and enabled by Allah, the exalted, their perception of Allah may progress. Slide number nine. Among its secondary benefits, it is that this congregational meeting together will promote mutual introduction among all brothers and, its, and it will strengthen the fraternal ties within this community. So thank you very much. These two um, slides I wanted to present in the words of the Promised Messiah, mm -hmm. who started this convention as an annual Jalsa Salana based on divine instruction.
mm. and is being very successful as uh, Molana mentioned that he was young and he's still young but I was child then and uh, in 1983 and 82 I have attended those two jalsas and since then after the Pakistan government has banned and worldwide you would see maybe later on uh, in the pictures how the Ahmadiyya Muslim Jamaat continue even with our circumstances which we're facing. Thank you very much, Malana Saheb. <clears throat> in fact, as we would uh, witness from slide number 10, uh, the promised Messiah who founded this uh, convention, he admonished the community that this is not an ordinary convention. He, he goes on to say, it is essential for all those who can afford to undertake the journey that they must come to attend this convention, which embodies many blessed objectives. They should disregard minor inconveniences in the cause of Allah and His Prophet. Peace be upon Him. Allah yields rewards to the sincere persons at every step of their way, and no labor and hardship undertaken in His way ever go waste. He goes on in child uh, in slide number 11, as we would witness, he says, the promise of Messiah says, I re-emphasize that you must not rank this convention in the same league as other ordinary human assemblies. This is the phenomena that is based purely on divine help for propagation of Islam. He made a publication of this, uh, this declaration in a, a declaration he made in a poster dated the 7th of December 1982 and it was published throughout India and distributed so as to encourage people to come to the convention and to con uh, continue this uh, discussion on the importance of this uh, uh, Jalsa Salana the annual convention and the, the prayer that the promised Messiah offered for this success and the prosperity of this convention I would like to ask Maulana Mansusa to join us. Yeah. Azur not only urged members to attend this Jalsa Salana and uh, for the, the pleasure of Allah, but he also prayed for those people that, uh, you know, who leave all worldly things for the sake of Allah and they come and, uh, and attend the Jalsa Salana for only and only to gain the pleasure of Allah. So he especially prayed for them. And this prayer is the translation of his prayer. Uh, which is in slide number 12 and I will quote him he says he prays to Allah I conclude with the prayer that everyone who travel so as to attend this convention that is for the sake of Allah may Allah the exalted be with him reward him in abundant measure have mercy on him ease for him his circumstances for of hardship and anxiety and eliminate his anguish and grief. And in next slide, he continues, may he grant him freedom from every single hardship and lay open for him the ways achieving his cherished goals and raise him up in the day of judgment among those of his servants who are the recipients of his blessings and mercy. May he be their guardian in their absence until after their journey comes to an end. Amen. Thank you very much. And uh, to conclude this uh, dua, this prayer, I would like to ask the mission in charge to so join us, please. Thank you very much. Uh, this prayer continues in slide number 14 in these words. O Allah, O Sublime One, and bestower, bestowers of bounties, the ever merciful and the one who resolve all problems, do grant all these prayers and grant us victory over our opponents with scintillating. scintillating signs because you alone have all prowess and powers. Amen. 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 In next slide, slide number 15, we will tell the history of Dalsa Salana in Guyana. Dalsa Salana, the annual convention of the Ahmadiyya Muslim Jamaat Guyana, has been held in New Amsterdam Town Hall when the community began in Bobby's sister's village in 1960. And since the national headquarters moved to Joytown, it has been held in the city hall and other locations. Present location being 
The national headquarters of the Ahmadiyya Muslim Jamaat Guyana, Jai Town, is at 198 Ornock Street, Lance Gibbs. Queenstown. Ornock and Lance Gibbs Street, Queenstown, Jai Town. Thank you very much, Maulana Sahib. And to bring you some highlights of our previous Jalsa, we would like to show you some pictures of our previous conventions in Guyana as well as those abroad. Kindly bring in the pictures of the, um, uh, this you can see Maulana Sahib delivering the speech last year. Next slide. And uh, we had our uh, MP as well as the President of the Jamaat there with us. Next one. The congregation, you may see a portion of the congregation at last year convention. The next picture as well is a, from last year convention. And uh, in nine, 2012, the missionary in charge of the Canadian Jamaat, uh, Maulana Mubarak Ahmad Nazir Sahib visited us and you can see him there. Also, he was with the Prime Minister having a very intimate discussion there. And uh, this is in Qadian. When we uh, dress our mosques and our jalsa, we dress it so beautifully uh, like a bride. You can see how beautiful it is. And you can see the minaret, al Masi in the background there in the Masjid Aqsa. Next slide. And that's a huge convention, which is in the UK. More than 30,000 people attended in 2012. And you can see the, the poem is written there. Deko khoda ne ek jahan ko jukha diya. Gumnaam paake shuhrae alam bana diya. This promised Messiah was not known anywhere. And look, 30,000 people in London have, have congregated because of him finding, uh, starting this Jalsa Salana. Uh, the next slide, please. You can see His Holiness, Hadrat Khalifatul Masih, the fifth. Uh, he is also um, addressing the Jalsa in 2012. Next slide. This is a prayer, Huzur is leading prayer after the raising the flag. Normally, whenever we start our convention, we raise the flag of our Ahmadiyya Jamaat and the flag of that, a flag of that country. So after raising that flag, Huzur leads in silent prayer. Next slide. This is the Jalsa Salana in West Africa. You can see those uh, local people. They are, kings. These are the actually kings, actually and uh, uh, those uh, leaders of those tribes, they are there and they are um, watching and they are listening attentively. These are big gatherings. They are also must be in tens of thousands of numbers. Yes. Next slide. This is also Jalsa Ghana. Salana Ghana in 2008 when His Holiness visited Jalsa Salana Ghana. Hundreds of uh, thousands. Hundreds of thousands, exactly. Hundreds of thousands people attended uh, these Jalsa Salana as well. Next slide, please. This is uh, again. This is from the uh, from the back from the stage. Actually, you can see the the audience uh, who are sitting there in thousands of numbers and listening to His Holiness. Again, next slide, please. This is uh, Ghana, Ghana, yes. West Africa. But uh, this is uh, just uh, they are coming for the Jalsa, mm -hmm. or these are just you know commuting, going and coming for the Jalsa Salana and, and the hundreds, of, hundreds thousands. of thousand people again. Next slide, please. This is in Germany in 2014, this year, when uh, thousands of people, actually 1,000 people were non-Muslim, but there were more than, I think, 30,000 of uh, our community, community members. Right, yeah. But these were the non-Muslim members who came to attend our Jalsa Salana. To see and, holiness. Yes, to see the holiness and holiness delivered the Jalsa Salana. Thank you very much. This is also another um, photograph of the Jalsa Salana in Germany this year. And uh, you can see uh, His Holiness address. Even the those who was non-Muslim guest came. He gave them a special um, lecture as well. And this is a part of um, one of the session of the same convention this year. Next slide. This is Jalsa Salana in USA. So we're showing you different pictures from different countries around the world where the Jamaat have established more than 200 countries, about 204 yes, or 7 countries mm -hmm. um, at present. This Jalsa Salana is also in the USA. Next slide. This Jalsa Salana in Canada, after the flag raising, the, you can also have a view of the Ahmadiyya Muslim Jamaat flag is black mm -hmm. and that is above. And uh, this is the hall where His Holiness um, address in the Canada and the Jalsa Salana in Canada, the annual convention in Canada. Next photograph, please. 
the, in front you will see the um, the Canadian um, Muslims, Ahmadi Muslims who are being trained as uh, the scholars in Islam and they will go to propagate the Islam worldwide. You will see them in forefront wearing white and black dress and covering their head with the black um, hats as well. Next photograph. So we come to maybe an end of the photograph. Yes, uh, thank you very much, uh, esteemed viewers. You, uh, you see in the time of the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he was sitting in a Majlis Irfan, uh, educating the companions. And then he told them, you know, on one occasion, there was a gathering like this. And Almighty Allah was so pleased that they were talking about Allah. They were doing what is known as Zikr Allahi, the remembrance of Allah. And then Allah told the angels, he was, Allah was so pleased that he told the angels, go down and shower blessings on all those who are in that gathering. The angels came down and they saw one man there. He, out of curiosity, wanting to know, what's this crowd for? He just sat with them and, you know, out of uh, inquisitiveness, he wanted to listen to what they were saying and he didn't move on. So they went and reported to God Almighty that there was one man there who didn't come for the purpose of saying, sending praise on you, O God Almighty. He said, God replied to them, even him, protect him, bless him. So when we attend this convention, Allah sends the angels down on us. Because this is a godly, it is a the, the, the divine movement which was started by the promised Messiah. Hadrat Meza Ghulam Muhammad, alayhi salatu wasalam, look at what is happening to the Middle East. Our brothers are dying daily in Palestine. We pray for them in this month of Ramadan, which has just passed. And we feel the pain that our bro brothers and sisters in the world who have not yet accepted the promised Messiah, they are waiting for somebody to come from the skies. Nobody is there in the skies. It's just rain that is going to come down. There is nothing else than the light that comes from the sun and the moon. So, my dear brothers and sisters, we need to hearken to the message. And I'm sure it is the same thing Maulana Maksud Sa would like to tell you. Yeah, I would like to say that, you know, in the beginning I said in 1983, that was the last convention happened in Pakistan and more than 300,000 people attended that because they banned our conventions, they banned everything, they tried to persecute everything on legal, on the national level. But what happened to us? Did we, like, you know, uh, our community uh, destroyed? Did our convention stop? No, we went all over the world. You saw those pictures in Canada, Germany, USA, everywhere, in Guyana as well, Africa as well, everywhere throughout the world we spread and our convention spread all over the world. So this is another sign of truthfulness of Ahmadiyyat. If you just ponder upon it, that what happens, that that's how Allah treats to those people who are liar, that's how Allah treats to those people who are not truthful. No, Allah treats this way to only those people who are truthful, only to those people who are working for His cause. We are working for Allah's cause. This is why the hand of Allah is behind us. This is why we are still growing and spreading. And we, we started from 75 uh, members, now we are in thousands. We are growing and growing and we, nobody can stop us because Allah's hand is behind us. Thank you very much, Mawlana Sahib. In fact, we are in tens of millions throughout the world and all over the world. I have seen changes, and I'm sure Mawlana Mawlana Sahib would like to tell you about those changes. Jazakumullah yeah, Asanul Jaza once again. Thank you very much. They uh, continue the same um, subject. The promised Messiah, alayhi salam, was sent by God, indeed. And as an Ahmadi Muslim, over 200 millions worldwide, we believe, and that is our faith. And we understand that and this time, at this time, the promised Messiah, Hazrat Mirza Ghulam Muhammad, has made claim by him that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed to him that he is Amen. the one who fulfilled the coming of the Messiah, the prophecy of the Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa And as the sunnah of the Allah is that all the prophets of Allah and the messengers of Allah and the holy men who came by Allah at their times, they was not being recognized at the people of their time. But a small number of people during their lifetime, they recognized them. Each one of them was persecuted and their community. So, so was the case of the prominent Messiah. Now it's just about 125 years and Ahmadiyya Muslim Jamaat is across the globe. If we compare even um, with the Christianity, the first three centuries, 
Christians, the follower of Jesus, now those who claim themselves the Christians, they could not have um, openly preached. They faced persecution. So we humbly remind once again the purpose of the coming of the Messiah in later days is to unite whole mankind oh, man. in the name of God. We say Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on one religion, that is the religion of Islam. Islam. Mm. Thank you very much, Malana Sahib. We have come to the end of our time, esteemed viewers. Look forward next week, same time, same channel for your favorite program, Tafsir, the Voice of Islam. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh. किसी पे ना गर्दे मलाले सफर हो किसी पे ना गर्दे मलाले सफर हो ये दिन हो मुबारक मुबारक हो ये दिन ये दिन हो मुबारक मुबारक हो ये दिन खिलाफत से पुर नूर मुबारक हो ये दिन खिलाफत से पुर नूर ये माह ये सिन खिलाफत से पुर नूर ये माह ये सिन वो नूरों ना हाया हसी शाह ज़्यादा मसीहा के मिंबर पे है ज़ेब जलवा वफा रंग जलवे बिखरने लगे हैं हर एक दिल में जज्बे निखरने लगे हैं हर एक दिल में जज्बे निखरने लगे हैं ये दिन हो मुबारक मुबारक हो ये दिन ये दिन हो मुबारक मुबारक हो ये दिन खिलाफत से पुर नूर ये माह ये सिन ये दिन हो मुबारक मुबारक हो ये दिन खिलाफत से पुर नूर ये माह ये सिन खिलाफत से पुर नूर ये माह ये सिन हिसाराफियत का ये इजलास गाहे यहीं पर मिलेंगी जहाँ को पना है यहीं पर है तकवा भरी इल्तिजाएं यहीं पर है पुरसोज़ जज़बे 